Hi everyone. The topic that we are going to be discussing today is the joint and byproduct. Uh, so all those uh, who are studying costing or who are applying costing in their real life come across this problem that whenever you undertake, whenever you uh, look after any of the manufacturing process, so at times what happens is multiple products are produced through that manufacturing process. So if multiple products are produced through that manufacturing process, how exactly should we be accounting for those uh, products? So we are going to be discussing here under this concept of joint and byproduct. If I tell you people about this concept of joint and byproduct, so I've drawn in front of you uh, crude oil uh, refineries distillation process. Now, what happens is whenever we talk about a refinery, so generally speaking, what happens is the crude oil is split into multiple parts using the distillation process. What happens under the distillation process is that uh, the crude oil is heated up in a furnace. And when the crude oil is heated up in the furnace, as the temperature goes up and up, slowly and gradually, uh, one by one, different components come out of that crude oil manufacturing process. So generally at 90 degree Fahrenheit, you would get propane, butane, at 220 Fahrenheit, you might be getting gasoline, 315, so on and so forth. So as the temperature goes up, the heavier products keeps on separating from the crude oil. Now, this similar type of thing, which is that when one specific product, when one specific manufacturing process starts and you end up getting multiple products out of that manufacturing process. So, the problem that arises in such type of manufacturing process is that how exactly should we be dealing with the costs that are incurred during this manufacturing process. So I'll explain to you people through an example. Uh, you could see that I have drawn in uh, here a simple diagram. By this specific diagram, I'm actually referring to a process that a process is taking place over here. And as a result of process, you have ended up getting one joint product you have ended up getting second joint product and you have ended up getting a byproduct. What do you mean by joint product one? What do you mean by joint product two? What do you mean by byproduct? So let's try to understand this. Basically what happens is there was a manufacturing process going on and at one point of time in that manufacturing process, the single product that was input into the process is split into multiple products. So this is specific point at which the single product is split into multiple products. This is termed as a split off point. What is it termed as? It is termed as a split off point. Now, so once a split off point is reached, we end up getting joint products and byproducts in hand. What is joint product? What is byproduct? How are they different? So the joint product means that products which are usually of high value. They are high value products. So if you have got high value products, they are termed as joint products. And if you have got a low value product, that low value product is going to be considered as a byproduct. Now, the cost that we incur during this specific manufacturing process up till the split off point, uh, those costs could be of material, those costs could be of labor, those costs could be of overhead. All of these costs are termed as common cost. All of these costs are termed as common cost. Now, how exactly are we going to be splitting these common costs into the different joint and the byproducts? So I'll explain to you through an example. Assume that under a manufacturing process, under a manufacturing process, you incurred common cost of let's say hundred thousand dollars and out of this what has happened is you have ended up getting a byproduct uh, the byproduct has a selling price has a scrap value the byproduct has a scrap value of let's say three thousand dollars and you have ended up getting a joint product one which is uh, three thousand units and they have got a specific sale value of let's say $250,000 and you have got joint product 2 which is approximately 5000 units 
and their estimated sale value is four hundred thousand dollars. Now, if we have this specific example where we incurred a cost of hundred thousand in a process, and uh, the resultingly byproduct is worth three thousand dollar, and the joint products will ultimate have, will have an ultimate there is there is a joint product one of three thousand unit joint product two of five thousand unit with this with this sale value. How would we be allocating the common cost? That is going to be explained through this example. So the first one of them is that we have this byproduct of three thousand dollar. That means the sale proceeds of byproduct is going to be three thousand dollar. How exactly are we going to deal with the sale proceeds of the byproduct? So there are two ways of dealing with it. What are those two ways? One of them is it could be deducted from the common cost. It could be deducted from the common cost. That is, you could simply say that the common cost were hundred thousand dollar, and we are going to deduct three thousand dollar from it. Resultingly, ninety-seven thousand dollar is the common cost that is to be dealt with. The other option is that you could treat it as another income, like you could simply take this three thousand to your profit and loss account and recognize it as another income. So. Whenever such a manufacturing process is undertaken, and if you end up getting a byproduct, this is what you do with a byproduct: that either you deduct it from the common cost, the sale proceeds from the common cost, or you treat it as another income. Now the next thing: what exactly is going to be the treatment of the common cost? The common costs are going to be allocated to the joint products. The question mark that arises is. How exactly would we be allocating them to the joint products? So there are two ways of doing it. What are those two ways of doing it? One of them is on the basis of output, and the other one of them is on the basis of sales value. What do we mean by doing it on the basis of output? So we have got output of three thousand, and we have got an output of five thousand. Resultingly, the total output is eight thousand. So what are you going to do? You are going to say a joint product one. The common cost are ninety-seven thousand multiplied by three thousand units divided by eight thousand units. This is going to be the allocation on two joint product one. And what about joint product two? It's going to be five thousand divided by eight thousand multiplied by ninety-seven thousand. This is how you would be allocating onto the joint product two. So the allocation. Of the common cost to the joint product would take place either on the basis of output or on the basis of sales value. What do we mean by on the basis of sales value? So you could see that the sales value of this joint product one and joint product two is two fifty and four hundred respectively. So it is actually going to be six fifty thousand. What is it going to be? Six fifty thousand. Now, if it is going to be six fifty thousand. So what we are going to do is we are going to say joint product one, two fifty thousand out of six fifty thousand multiplied by ninety seven thousand, and with respect to joint product two, it's going to be four hundred divided by six fifty multiplied by ninety seven thousand. So this is what it is going to be. So what we have discussed through this specific video is that. If the if during the manufacturing process, if you come across multiple products, how do you classify them into joint products and byproducts? So joint products are products with a higher value, and byproducts are just like a scrap type products. What we simply do is we establish the scrap proceeds of the byproduct. We either recognize them as other income, or we deduct them from the common cost. And the common costs are apportioned to the joint products either on the basis of the output or on the basis of sales value. So thank you very much, everyone. See you again very soon, inshallah.